Hello everyone, welcome back to the Backrooms Creatures Explained series, which of course is the series where I catalog all of the entities and the creatures and the humanoids and everything else that calls the Backrooms home. Today I'm going to be explaining three of the scariest, most dangerous, and deadliest entities that have been documented so far. Some of these are pretty new, some of them are older, but all of them are disturbingly horrific in their own way. More so than normal, actually. These are, these are pretty scary, I'm not gonna lie. Without any more talking, let's get into the video, shall we? Entity number 75, or Jantlers, is a relatively newly discovered creature that's found in the back rooms. They are a hostile species that looks sort of like a deer from real life, except neither male or female variants of these creatures have antlers. These Jantlers, as they've been called, have a disturbing appearance and aura surrounding them, and their faces often look very mangled and fleshy just gives off this really strange vibe. They have brown fur that gets lighter and lighter as they get older, and it thickens around their chests. These creatures are noticeably bigger and faster and stronger and smarter than real life deer, and they are much more agile and cunning, and they seem to be very highly sentient. Which is crazy because deer in real life are not very smart. Anyways, these creatures are estimated to nearly be 500 pounds at their biggest and around nine feet tall when they stand on their back legs upright. That's correct, you didn't miss here. Jantlers can stand on their hind legs and walk, kind of like a skinwalker can. Despite the strong resemblance to real life deer, Jantlers actually don't have any facial features, no eyes or anything except that mangled, twisted, unnerving, large mouth on the front of their face. Now their mouths stretch from ear to ear when fully open, and inside of these mouths is a very weird thing. You see, their mouths have a giant skinny gray tongue that's coated in some type of saliva liquid. This tongue is capable of stretching out for unnatural lengths over like 100 meters, all while contorting and grabbing whatever it's aiming at, which is very unnerving if you were running through the woods, being hunted by a giant deer on two legs, and it was sticking its tongue out to catch you. That's pretty scary. Nobody has any idea how this creature came to be, or why it's so big, or why its tongue is like that. We just don't know. But there have been a few theories offered up. One of the theories says that the entity was born on some sort of foreign planet that we haven't discovered in real life, and a few of them no-clipped into the back room somehow, and they bred, and that's, that's how we got them. Another theory says they were born with some kind of pocket dimension inside of their body that their tongues stay in. So when they're not using their tongues, you know, to tackle prey or whatever, it'll go back inside their body into that pocket dimension, and that's where it'll go. I don't know. If you have any theories, let me know in the comments. You'll be able to tell if one is close to you if you start to smell wetness. Like the air around you itself will become moist, almost to the touch, and everything will start to smell like old, wet carpet. If it's indoors and you start to smell this wet smell, it's probably too late, it's gonna catch you. But if you're outside in like a forest level or a grassy level, you might have time to escape because there's more areas to run to. Now, Jantlers have been seen eating humans, as well as other small entities like hounds, and they seem to be very bold and brazen when hunting. Like, they'll just run up to anything and try to eat it. And as I said earlier, they have no nose or eyes, but they somehow possess incredible senses and can hunt very well despite that. The only good news I got for you is that these things are pretty rare, and they never really are seen, but when they are seen, it's typically not going to end well for the person that saw them. But when they are seen, it's not going to end well for the person that saw them. In fact, most reports come from witnesses watching somebody being eaten by these things. So let's just hope that you're not one of these rare instances when one comes out of hiding. To survive an encounter with a Jantler, um, you most likely won't, just the truth. Unless you have some sort of fire, because fire apparently scares them off, but I doubt that you, with any weapon, could take on a 9 foot tall deer cryptid. Again, just being honest. Entity number 57, or Night Stalkers, are featureless semi-humanoids composed of a strange black rubbery substance. 
Now, unlike every other creature on this list, these are actually level exclusive entities that only live on level nine, which I guess makes it less scary in a way because you don't have to always worry about them. And also unlike every other creature on this list, this one has a mysterious found footage video with it. In it, you'll see this dude walking into a dark house in level nine, when suddenly one of these entities lunges from what looks like to be above a doorway at him, presumably um, eating him. Rest in peace. W's in the chat for this guy. But this footage is very uncanny and pretty, pretty terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. So unless you're on level nine right now, you don't have to worry about him. The facial features and biology are hidden between this gooey, rubbery substance that surrounds them and this cloak type thing that they wear. Now, it's unknown if the cloak is actually like a material or if it's just that goo substance that looks like a cloak. We don't know. Even though we can't see their face or their nose or eyes or anything, they can seemingly vocalize and scream, which leads us to believe that they might have a face. They're very skinny and they seem to be awkwardly weak in a way, and they kind of rely on ambush surprise attacks for hunting. They're not just going to run up to you in broad daylight and fight you. They're going to hide and jump down on top of you. Their fingers are long and spider-like, and their feet are stunted and awkward, almost like peg legs. They range in height though, and some have been reported at over eight feet tall. The material floating around the entity seems to be some kind of plastic latex, and it has a few obvious purposes. One of them is camouflaging, since level nine is very dark. It blends into the shadows very well, almost like a black liquid just blending right into black carpet. It also seems to protect the entity from attacks. Like if you hit it with something, it kind of covers it and it'll reflect off. Now these creatures actually vocalize when attacking or running away, and it seems to be this really deep, eldritch creaking noise. And they almost seem to be talking in some kind of language, but whatever they're saying is unintelligible. But I promise it's not English. They typically lurk inside the houses on level nine, as I said, but they're a very uncommon creature as it is. In fact, many people didn't even know if they existed. They thought it was just people going crazy and seeing things until this video came out. And another problem is you can't really tell which houses they're in because they move from house to house under the cover of darkness. And, you know, since they can pretty much blend in perfectly with the darkness, you can't really map where they're at. Now, as I hinted at earlier, they hunt you by watching. They're very intelligent and they very intently and slowly watch your every move just out of eyesight. And they always attack when they have the advantage. Like you're looking down or you're walking away or something. That's when they'll jump on you. When they attack, they use their long fingers and big claws to suffocate you, and they presumably consume you afterwards. No one knows for sure, because you can't really tell what happens to you once you're being eaten. But the best way to defend against these creatures is with light, because they rely on darkness for everything. You can ward them off with a flashlight or a flame or something. But if you don't have them, and you're stuck deep in level 9, eh, good luck. That's all I gotta say. Entity 129, or Impersonators, is a very scary entity that has been taking over the backrooms. Now, Impersonators is a nickname given to a group of highly intelligent entities that seem to be able to copy the behavior and the appearance of any living creature. Whether it be a human, or an animal, or an other entity, it could just be whatever. They do this in a sort of ritualistic way that goes something like this. Upon unaliving a human or entity or whatever, the impersonator can choose if they want to take on the features and appearance of whatever it is. It's also thought that they can take the memories from whatever they unalive to, but that's just a guess as of right now. After they touch the head of whatever they want to transform into, they seemingly morph directly into a copy of it, taking on its looks and its patterns and everything else. It's said that the more an impersonator has done this shift, the better they are at hiding it. And eventually they'll become unnoticeable and undistinguishable from the real thing. But it does seem that at the start of the transformation in an impersonator's life, they're slightly more obviously fake. You know, they haven't really developed the ability to completely replicate it yet. An example of this is that they can't speak instantly after transforming. They kind of have to learn language based on speech patterns like AI does. But within a few weeks, they can blend in completely with whatever they formed into. The scary part of this is that they can do this to humans and entities both, and if they can fake being a human almost 100% accurately, then they could be very dangerous. 
This entity should make you question if you can trust any stranger that you come across in the back rooms because that person might not even be a real human. If you see just the ever so slight hiccup or slight uncanny valley effect when talking to someone while exploring, it might be an impersonator entity and you should probably get away as fast as possible. Impersonators' ability to take the appearance of entities is also just as horrifying, because they could cause a ton of damage or chaos on different levels, like imagine a skin stealer running through level 0 or something. Perhaps even scarier, we have no idea what an impersonator's natural, real form is. It could be a shadow, it could be an alien type creature, we don't know. The only thing that we do know is what we've seen in the bodies of attacked victims and old corpses. Now, it's typically three deep cuts across the front or back of whatever it is. The cuts are claw-like and deep, so whatever the form is of the impersonator must be a large, strong creature, probably cloaked in some kind of darkness so it can hide its real form to sneak up on people. These entities pose a real threat to anyone that's in the back rooms, so tread carefully next time you see something or someone that you think is out of place.